feet on the edge, fantastic. Legs nice and relaxed. I'm just going to move the skin just to see if everything looks all right. I think you've got a bit of thrush going on down here. When you take it out, I always say that you want it to look like a Santa hat or a sombrero. If you see it that way, it's more like a smurf hat. Oh, God. <laughs> no disasters, but there's always a drama. Barnaby. Hi. I'm Joe. I'm one of the doctors. That's me. I understand the reason you're here today is because of some sex over the weekend. Yeah, on Sunday. Is that the first time you'd had sex with them? Yeah. Do you use any drugs at all? Uh, yeah. What drugs do you use? Um, most of the chems, so yeah, crystal, G and um, methadone. OK. And pills and, it's, uh, yeah, it's the sure. ketamine. Basically, um, a very broad range. OK. You do a lot of your inhibitions when you're having home sex, and you'll do things that you really wouldn't do sober. When I get high enough, I you can sleep with like six or seven people in one night, like in rotation. I think I've had four injections for gonorrhea, maybe chlamydia three times. Having lost my virginity at 18 in four years. It's not so bad, hopefully. Now, this is telling us your HIV status six weeks ago, so it's not telling us anything about yesterday and also not telling us anything about any other sex in the last six weeks. How do you feel about doing this test? Uh, absolutely fine. I've done it quite a few times. And you were bottom without condoms, is that yeah. right? Yeah, I feel uh, very embarrassed for some reason asking somebody to put a condom on. So I think I've just got into the habit of not using one. Some people are more vulnerable to getting infections because they're more vulnerable as people. And it's harder for them to negotiate the kind of sex that they want. And it's harder for them to insist on using condoms. OK, I can see, Barney, there's just one dot there, which means this is a negative test. Perfect. Okay. So they used to freeze the walls. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Sexual infections are kind of like Russian roulette. You can be lucky and have sex with loads of people and not get anything, you can have sex with one person and catch something. Charles? Hi, good morning, how are you? Yeah, good Right, so you're here for some condoms and an STI screening. Yeah, that's yeah? Nice, really. well, I was with a long-term girlfriend for a long time, and once that kind of ended, um, yeah, I just kind of went all out. Not really thinking about the consequences. What are we talking? It's not triple figures, yeah. But it's not far off. I mean, obviously, with all the online stuff, Tinder is so easy and accessible to meet people. And to, yeah, sex is pretty pretty available if you want it. And that's the worry as well that people you're meeting, you don't really know them that well. And I'm not even asking the question whether they're on the pill or what their contraception is. It's just kind of happening and regretting it after. To be fair, there's a lot of, a lot of times after I've just regretted it completely. I seem to keep going back to it. Let me write the number down so I could register you online. Do you worry? Yeah. You, you are worried? I'm worried, yeah, yeah. I've been putting off for a long time. I like to think I've got away with it so far. But this week is going to be nervous for me. I can't wait to call them up and to get the results. Yeah. A 
I've been with my partner for about four or five months now. And we both decided we don't want to use condoms anymore. And so I've been having some um, discharge. And we ask everyone, did you have sex with anybody else? <laughs> no, it can't be me. I haven't done nothing. I mean, um, no, yeah, it can't be me. I think he's gone and messed around. And he's come back to me. And I've been giving something. <laughs> oh, it sucks. It really sucks. So. This is for the chlamydia and gonorrhea swab. Pop this inside the vagina and rotate it inside, okay? I'll close the curtain for you. Things like chlamydia, trichomonas, gonorrhea, is treatable, but when you have a positive result, it can have a really big impact on that relationship, or it could potentially break a relationship. Sharp scratch! <laughs> He's probably walking out right now thinking he's a free man, no one knows nothing, while I'm sitting here getting myself checked out. That's the reality of it, you know what I mean? But someone's misbehaved. So someone's gonna get uh, kicked to the curb. Yeah, look, the results are back, it's not great. She's got a box in her <laughs> I know what that means. It's thrush. So you have some candida, okay? Thrush? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No way! You'd be pleased way. to know. Brush! Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm very pleased yeah. to know that. It's not sexually transmitted. He's, he's cool, he's, he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Thrush. Due to um, tie pant um, tight panties, probably got to get some new ones. There's a lot of patients that will come in and recognise me and be like, hi, you had me last time. But when you do see a regular, you're thinking in the back of the like, oh, my God. You start checking, when did I see him or when did I see her? Hi, how are you? Good, thanks, and you? So I finally managed to get in contact with him uh, this afternoon and um, he... He was saying that he was HIV positive and then that it was 50% my fault because I didn't say to use a condom. So I can see where, with like the shame that comes with it, why he might not say. I mean, he should have, but I should have used a condom as well. So. Couldn't get those results by phone. Um, this should be ready on Friday. People can come with all sorts of problems to the sexual health clinic. Sometimes it's not related to a sexually transmitted infection. I've got a young woman in the consultation room. She thinks she might be pregnant, but it doesn't sound great. She's in some pain. I went over to a and &E, they told me to come over to here. Um, my doctor hasn't got an appointment for another two weeks, and I just wondered if there's anything you can do for me to help me, because I'm in so much pain. Okay. I got pregnant when I was 17, miscarried. It kind of feels like the last time, and I can feel it specifically on one side of my tummy as well. And I had to leave work early today because I was just doubled over in pain. It was just ridiculous. Yeah. I've been with okay. my partner for about a year and a half. I do try to come in around about every six months anyways. And when did you last have sex? Um, maybe last week, Thursday. OK. Um, and was that with your partner? Yeah. yeah. And was that with condoms or without condoms? Without condoms, but I've been taking my pills, so I was yeah. okay. And then going back from him, when was the last time you had sex with someone other than him? <sighs> Jesus Christ. Um, um, when I was, like, 17. Okay. Yeah. So the thing that we're worried about is pregnancy outside the womb. So I'm just going to go and explain that to her. So we've just done the pregnancy test. Go on. And it's positive. If it's OK with you, Edwin, get that scan. Yeah, absolutely. So your appointment is booked for the 
tomorrow at four o'clock. Mm -hmm. Any questions? No, I'm done. I'm okay. going home to probably cry. I'm upset about the fact that I'm in so much pain and I know I'm probably going to miscarry again. Shit. Oh. Oh, I'm about to have a fag. Judge me at your will. I'm not bothered right now. Hi, Mum. Uh, I'm pregnant. What? I'm pregnant. How far? Uh, I don't know. I've, I've got an appointment tomorrow. Scan. Because there's a chance that I can miscarriage again. Oh. Uh, so what are we going to do now? Um, kind of afraid at the moment. <laughs> Don't really. Be all right. Yeah. Just all right. Well, I'll come with you. Everything will be okay. As long as you're there, that's all I need. I love you, bye. Love bye. Love you too, man. Bye. Bye. -bye. Hello? Hi, is that Ozelina? Hi, speaking. Oh, hi, it's Joe calling from Homerton Hospital. Are you hi. able to talk at the moment? I am. OK. The test for trichomonas or TV was positive. So we need you to come back into the clinic and get no. some treatment for that. OK. This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> uh, it's frustrating, I know. <laughs> It didn't show up on the test that you'd had done on Thursday, possibly because you had thrush at the time. It might yeah. have just kind of got in the way and stopped us from being able to see the mm -hmm. trichomonas. Yeah. So we need to give you some treatment and also to give your partner some treatment as yeah. well. Yeah. Oh! I just, I'm so pissed off. This is hard, you know, because I, I, <laughs> this is actually hard. Like, this is fucking hard because fucking hell, like, you can't trust many people, then you trust someone and they break it. I'll never go back with him. And I really liked him. <laughs> I've, um, I've had a sleepless night, I'm still in a lot of pain, and, but I'm pretty much just worried about the baby at this point. Oh, this is going to be cold and jelly, ain't it? Yeah, done cold this jelly. <sighs> I got my mum with me this time, so it makes everything so much better. <laughs> and there was a beginning of a pregnancy in there called a yolk sac. But it's too early to see a baby with a heartbeat. OK. All right. So you are going to need another scan in a couple of weeks' time. Right. But we know it's in the right place. That's okay. the main thing, OK? And that's what we'd expect to see at five weeks and two days. Are you happy with this pregnancy or...? I have no you idea. You know idea. So you're going to think about what you want to do. Just time to digest it all. As long as you have a kid, your whole life is not down the drain, but then your whole life is for them, you know what I mean? It's just the thought of a baby, someone that's dependent on me. I mean, I'm just learning how to be independent myself. Don't, please don't, because I'll stop crying. Oh, God. God. Oh, little chicks, we're going to have another little chick. <laughs> What could the pain be? Bowel pain. She's had, Daniel's had a bit of diarrhoea and upset stomach over the last four weeks, so it's more likely to be bowel spasm. Eat little and often, lots of fluids, and it will settle itself down. Five weeks and two days. I just scream at you when we get upset. <laughs> I'm not upset. I'm not upset. A responsible adult. <laughs> sort of girlfriend I've sort of liked the most. I, I ended it because I wanted to have sex with other people, 
and since I've sort of ended it and slept with other people, I've regretted it. So for me, getting tested is the time for me to sort of move on and to, yeah, to refresh and sort of settle down properly sometime. Yeah. You want her back? Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah, I do want her back, yeah. Couldn't really sleep last night, to be fair. If it is clear, I'll, I'll be very lucky, very lucky. Is that my phone? Oh. So my ID number is 107629. Please, Charles, uh, no, they're absolutely fine. There was no chlamydia, yes. no gonorrhea, <laughs> oh, yeah. no HIV or syphilis. They are all absolutely fine. That's great. Thank you for your help. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. I'm really pleased that. <laughs> I can't hide it. I can't hide it. It's really, really pleasing to hear. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I know people that have gone on holiday for a week or they've had one one night stand and they've, they've got chlamydia or something and why have I got so lucky? <laughs> Reaching a point where you're really worried about having an infection can sometimes be a bit of a reality check. But for some people, it doesn't make as much of an impression on, on how important it is for them to change the type of sex they're having or their behaviour in the future. You look happy. Hmm? You look happy. Yeah, it's a relief. Just effort scheduling and working around STIs. <laughs> Nobody really wants to do it. So it's more the inconvenience to life than anything else at the moment? Yeah, I, yeah, that's literally it. Would you have been upset if you'd caught HIV? I don't want to alarm you, but I don't think I would have been that upset at all. <laughs> it, 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 like, it's... I guess... Um, I've, I've been in a lot of situations where the risk of HIV is quite big and that feeling of for, for a month not knowing whether you have it, whether you don't, um, it's a very hollow feeling. I hope that it's only a matter of time before I start being more practical about using protection. Because I think it's just a matter of having the confidence to ask somebody to put a condom on. But it's not really something that you bear in mind when you're having hand tips.